What's up, you guys? Sean Ross Sapp, Fightful.com, here with the name you know, name you know Trey Miguel. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing good. I just saw you in action out there. Uh, uh, it was a little bit of an uphill battle. It was. Yeah. It was. Uh, battling battling from uh, the, the knee injury you sustained in the match. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's still messing with me now. Ross just caught me icing my knee, but uh, <laughs> I was like, you know what? I, c- I could take five real quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I appreciate it. Just came, it. To, just came to hang out for a few. Definitely appreciate it. And that's something that I mean that your style is going to incur a lot of. Yeah, absolutely. There's really uh, I feel like I'm always icing something. You know, yeah. just, it's, uh, it's a dangerous game to play. <laughs> it is, and I mean, is that something that you, you got to go in and expect, considering your style? I mean, it, it seems like the kind of thing you're going to feel, especially as you get older. You're going to feel it. absolutely. Um, between all the running, jumping, twisting, flipping, kicking, you know, like there's a, there's a lot that goes yeah. on in there, and there's a lot of things that hit, a lot of things that miss, and you know, like um, they say that. Uh, I mean, like, have you ever hit someone with a punch? It almost hurts you more than yeah. it hurts them. So th- that's something to remember when you're watching some of these professional wrestling matches. You've rose to prominence in the last couple of years, especially. Like, you've done a lot of great stuff all around Thank the you. world. And you've, you've landed in Impact Wrestling, and really, like, things have taken off there for you. What was that like when you first got the call that you were coming into Impact Wrestling? Um, it was... Uh it was crazy because I had heard a little bit of speculation. We had our tryout match in uh, August of 2018, and we heard a lot of good feedback like, hey, there's some interest. You guys may or you may not be receiving a text message or a phone call or something along those lines. And what's what's funny is is that uh, they didn't, like, do it collectively, like, at one, like, collective point, like, like get Zach, Des, and I on, like, a group yeah. call or anything like that. So. Uh, I remember we're on our way down to, I think I was on my way down to a promotion, he, actually here in, uh, like, right outside of uh, Louisville. We're in Lexington yeah, yeah, right yeah. now. So uh, we're in Jeffersonville is where we yeah. were going. And Zach calls me and he goes, hey, bud, guess what? And I was, oh, sleep- wow. I-, I was sleeping at the time. So I wake up and I'm like, yeah. And he goes, guess who got signed to Impact, bud? Oh, and I nice. was just like. That's good for you, man. And then he goes, <laughs> but I mean, like, I'm tired, man. Like, I, I, you know, I really didn't get any sleep overnight. And, you know, like, he he didn't say we got signed. So he's like, hey, man, guess who got signed? I did. And I'm like, oh, I'm going back to bed. And then uh, he he goes, well, why, why do you sound so down? And I go, I mean, it's good for you, man. I was like, what <laughs> what am I going to do? I was like that. And I was like, I was kind of sleeping, bro. You just woke me up. He goes, well, they're going to sign you, too. And I was like, well, you sh- <laughs> you could have thrown that in there. You, know, you could have said, hey. Guess like guess what few guys are getting signed? Yeah. In fact, he just said me, so I was just like, <laughs> it's so crappy because I was yeah. not happy for him in Context that moment. Context is important in that situation. <laughs> I was so mad that he woke me up. I, was like, I don't care about you and your contract of television, Zach. So, <laughs> what was it like for you in between you getting tipped off and then finally getting the word? It's was like, it, were you on like pins and needles waiting? It's like finding out that Santa's not real and you're not allowed to tell your little brothers and sisters. <laughs> oh man. So it's I, like having the coolest news and no one can find out about it, you know? Yeah, because like, you don't want to cost yourself a job. Yeah, We've seen that happen several like times. Like, you want a lottery ticket, but you know if you go telling anyone that it's in your pocket, you're going to get robbed, you know? Yeah. Like, it's kind of like that. You just want to tell everyone because you're so excited. And we, we weren't allowed to say a single thing. Couldn't drop a dime. Because, I mean, that, that would put you at risk. It might put the person that told you at risk. Sure, sure. And oh. it's just, and you want that reaction when you surprise the world. You just yeah. show up on TV like, hey, guess who's here? So... You all also, the Rascals have made a name for themselves in PWG, like done some crazy stuff out there. Mm -hmm. What's that like going from from that type of atmosphere to the one in Impact Wrestling? Because while you're in two different worlds. Yeah. It's, um, I I remember, I've only worked for PWG a handful of times. And I remember at the end of my my debut, uh, I looked up at the ceiling and like I just I was uh, we're in the the Globe Theater yeah the in, new one. in downtown LA and I'm I'm looking at the the artwork on the ceiling I mean like we're just we're hearing the crowd bang on the apron this was awesome clap clap and I'm just like it, it's a different sense of the term I made it mm-hmm. because um, it, I feel like you can make it so far in independent wrestling and like you can make it to the top of independent wrestling mm-hmm. and make it to the top of contracted professional wrestling and it'll be two completely different feelings. Yeah. Um, I haven't made it to the top of contracted professional wrestling yet, but I, I can only imagine what that'll be like. But making it to PWG was one of my was probably my biggest independent wrestling goal. So debuting there uh, against the two gentlemen that I did meant the world to me. Um, I cried at the end of that match. That was the first match I've ever like shed tears in the ring for. And then, uh, I mean, like I just I've 
I'm, I'm going speechless again. It, it, mean, it still means so much to me, that experience. It was amazing. You all came into Impact effectively fresh, like brand new to that show. And now, like out here, everybody knows who you are. Yeah. What type of adjustment has that been for you? Because, I mean, that's that's got to feel like, like some sort of validation for you. Have you ever shown up to a party that people were expecting you to be at? <laughs> it's kind of like that. You show up late and everyone's like, dude, you made it. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like that feeling. It's like showing up to your own party. It, it feels really cool to be recognized, um, especially, you know, you spend a lot of time on the independence, maybe not getting some of the notoriety that you're hungry for, not getting some of the eyes on you that you wish you had. And, it, and it's like you said, it feels very validating to show up, uh, receive the love and support and all of the just the, the welcome. It, it's truly welcoming. Munchies on the road. What's your go to? Mm. Uh, all right, so like it depends on certain gas stations because we, we stop by Pilots, we stop by Flying J's, Wawa's, Sheets. All. Can I break it down for you? By, yeah, of by? course. All right, so if we stop at a Pilot, uh, Pilots or Flying J, let's start with Flying J. Flying J makes their own pizzas, so I'll always grab uh, the two for five slices. Do they still sell the- DVDs there? I don't know. I think, Actually, I think, I think I, they do probably right next to. I bought some Pride what, FC DVDs for right next months. to the keychains of whatever state <laughs> yes, you're in. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll grab uh, the the Flying J pizzas if we're there. Um, if we go to Pilot, uh, I normally grab. Uh, they have the peanut butter filled pretzel bites. Oh yeah, the little pretzel. Those are really good. Good protein too. So yeah. you know you have a sweet and salty snack. And then um, if we stop by. It, I like Hardee's. A lot of those places have a Hardee's attached oh, to it. Oh, really? Yeah, I like Hardee's. It's weird. Oh, heel and turn it, so, um, on the air. And then when we hit the East Coast, you, you run into, uh, are you familiar with Wawa and Sheets? Yes. Okay. So, By name only. Okay, so, and, and they get drawn in comparison a lot, but they're okay. two totally different things. They're just, they're only found on the East Coast, the entire stretch. Um, Wawa is more or less like uh, paninis and uh, sandwiches, things of that nature, and then... Uh, Sheets is just fried everything. You get okay. deep fried pickles, cheese curds, uh, chicken nuggets, macaroni and cheese bites. It's just the your deep fried everything is That's what we do Sheets. out here. That's and what then, we do out here. Teach sir. You know, I love stuff from both, so I'll never go sure. comparing them. <laughs> Would you say? But Buck, Buck, what is now, can, Bucky's? can we talk about Bucky's for a what minute? Is Bucky's. I, Des, all right, so they have Bucky's in Texas, right? All right, so when we were there for Slammiversary last summer, we stopped into a Bucky's, and I mean, like, sensory overload immediately. Des, Zach, and I were just like, I got so much anxiety. There's like 99 people in here, and aisles are like this big. I got to oh, get no. out of here. And we just we left it immediately. Is it a restaurant or a gas station? It's everything in the oh, world. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Bucky's has everything. Well, oh, as we wrap up, let the people know where they can follow you on social media. Uh, well, I need to know about your stuff. About our stuff? Yeah. Well, where I, are you from? I, I am from about an hour from here called Ewing, and okay. nobody has ever heard of it. <laughs> we have a Ewing Handy Mart, and uh, the burgers are about the only thing safe to eat there. That's okay. about it. Now, about 20 minutes away, that's where the Clooney family's from. So there's, there's some stuff there. Do you guys have Casey's here? No. Are you familiar with Casey's? No. Casey's is, is another good Midwest place for like pizza. They got in like Iowa. You, you're heading out that direction. Hey, right out here, I, I was telling Ross Foreman of Impact Wrestling, we're getting some good fellas pizza later. That's the place to go out here. Ross, what about you? He didn't offer us any good fellas. He just said we're going. He didn't say who's a part of this week. I mean, it's it's covered. I'm, I'm looking at you. Is, are you, covered are you in on this week? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. We were like, all right, let's let's make sure Goodfellas is open late. Hey Ross, you want you want to go get some Goodfellas? Just you and I. Yeah, it is. is. Uh, Until next time, guys. Until next time, we're out.